All right, you have to forgive the quality of this as I'm filming it on my phone since my GoPro is dead. What I'm going to show you today is how to save your Holly Terminator ECU if it bricks itself during the firmware update process. Um, I will not guarantee this works every time. Mileage may vary, but it's worth a shot. Uh, I was actually uh, loading a tune into mine. I have the Terminator X Max here. And it just glitched out while loading the tune. And all the lights, see all the lights, completely all went out. It would not respond. And the handheld, it kept giving me the error of no ECU communication. And the Holly Dash had no communication with the ECU also. So I started to panic because normally you have to send it back in. If anything happens during the firmware update, you have to send it back to Holly and they can bench flash it and send it back to you. And I can only imagine that takes weeks and weeks and weeks. And I didn't want to lose most of the summer getting my ECU flashed. And finding a replacement right now is about impossible as everybody's backed up for a month. So, plus it's spending another you know, $800 for an ECU just because my firmware's flat. Messed up. So, I figured out that what you need to do is make sure you have only the handheld plugged into the ECU. Um, I will say also, let me see here if I can find one. I may have one. I don't have one here close. Um, when you uh, do update the firmware, are you doing anything like that? Make sure you don't have any splitters in the system to run the uh, dash and the handheld. You want to be directly connected using the USB cable to your laptop to the ECU. Here is the cable. Make sure this is the only cable that's plugged into your ECU. Nothing else. Otherwise, you will almost always have issues. So, what you do is... You've got an ECU with no lights on. So unplug the power to it. I unplugged all the harnesses. Let's see you see them back there. Unplug them all for about 20, 25 minutes and let it set. Then plug them back in. And then plug in only the handheld. Only the uh, three and a half inch handheld. If you have one. Uh, if you don't have one, I haven't tried it with the laptop. I'm not sure it would work. But on the handheld, you go into, you, you have no lights on your ECU. So you come into your handheld here, and you go into file. I don't know if I can do this, I'll show you here. And you want EC, ECU hardware firmware. And you click upgrade ECU firmware. I'm not going to do it. You're going to get an error. It took me about 10 tries. And on the... The 10th, 11th try, finally it accepted it and started uploading the firmware. Now this still has the original 1.0, whatever it is, 1.1 version firmware on it. But it loaded it into the ECU. And then the, after a cycle of the key, the lights came back on. So I knew it was alive. After you do that, then you can use only the USB cable here with your laptop. And upgrade the firmware. You can add the firmware to the uh, card in here and navigate it to it from here. But I find it's easier just to use the cable and connect it directly to the laptop. Once you plug it in for the first time, you're going to get a, a, a firmware conflict error. And it's not going to want to connect because the ECU will be on older firmware than the newer version. If you have the new version of the Holly software installed, the 2.0 version. So just go in through the Holly software and upgrade it to the newer software and everything will be good. So um, it, get, it get, gave me a couple errors loading in uh, the first tune I had for the I.O. So I went in and just reflashed an older tune and it worked perfect. So truck starts, everything runs. And I didn't have to wait six weeks to get my ECU back in the middle of summer right as racing season starting. So... I thought that was awesome. But if that helps someone out, good deal. Um, not going to guarantee it works for everybody. 
Your mileage may vary. I think it probably depends on the error and when it goes bad in the uh, firmware update. Um, or when it decides to crash and bork the firmware on its own, as it did in mine. So, but it's worth a shot to try. Thank you.